What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Forza 5, which actually you guys have been requesting a lot. And this uh, drift build is actually on the G65 AMG, which is again another car that you guys have been really requesting. And um, it's a bit weird. Let's just say that this car, or well, SUV thing, uh, is a bit weird. And the driving dynamics, especially when you convert it to rear wheel drive, are a bit odd and a bit strange, uh, especially for drifting. Now, if any of you guys have ever tried to swap an all-wheel drive car to rear drive in Forza before, you'll know that it still kind of, it still feels slightly all-wheel drive. It still has that weird front-end push, and this thing is no different. In fact, it has a lot of front-end push, and that is why you need all this power, because if you don't have all this power, there is no way, uh, no way whatsoever to neutralize that front-end uh, understeer push, but... The good thing about it is the fact that once you get it to 90 degrees, it stays there. Completely stays there. No trouble whatsoever. Now, you can spin it out if you push it too far, which I, I have done a couple times. But, and then like I said, but the thing is, if you know how to hold it on the limit, it's actually really easy to do. If you practice it for a little while, like maybe, I don't know, 5-10 minutes with the car... It's actually really simple, and you can see you can actually pull really big angle in this thing if you uh, if you actually understand the the weirdness of the uh, of the suspension and the actual chassis. Because let's be clear, it doesn't like to be rear wheel drive. This um, this particular G wagon, it doesn't like to be rear wheel drive. It would you could tell that it would much rather be all wheel drive, and it would much and it tells you that it tells you that all the time and it reminds you of that all the time and it tries to it tries to um, make you feel wrong for converting it to rear wheel drive in the first place and I might actually test this out with an all wheel drive drift tune just to see if it actually works better um, but I'm not sure I'm not, I'm not sure I might I might just modify the rear drive tune and see if I can kind of squeeze a little bit of extra uh, angle out of it and maybe a little bit of extra performance out of it but once you get used to it, though, this thing really um, is really kind of in its own division as far as, as just as far as drifting in general, because you can pull this incredible angle um, if you, you know, obviously, if you go all the way to 90 degrees and it's easy to keep it there. That's what makes this thing unique is, that, is because it's easy to keep it there. The thing is, the the way it feels is so different than anything else that when you first approach it, it's going to feel awkward. It's going to feel weird. It's going to feel awkward. You're going to be like, why did I build one of these in the first place? It was a waste of time. But actually, once you spend some time with it, it's a lot more rewarding than, uh, than you might actually think. And, you know, I'll admit it looks a little bit funny with, uh, with the ride height, you know, lowered down all the way. But, I mean, it's, it's really... It's, it's, I wouldn't call it super effective, but I would call it fun. That's the biggest thing I would call this thing is that it's fun. I mean, if you want effective, go, you know, build an S13. Build an S13, swap a V8 or a 2JZ into it, or an RB26, whatever you want to do. But this thing is, it's one of those, it's one of those offbeat cars that you can use for drifting. You could take it into an online lobby and and be like, you know, and be the only one that doesn't have the same car as someone else. You know, the, the only one that doesn't have um, a Sylvia or a BMW M car, for example. But, like I said, it's just one of those, it's just one of those cool offbeat cars that is really fun to use. Now, it, it's, uh, the funny thing is actually um, completely different from, or completely separate from the actual build and the actual gameplay. But funny enough, I tried to speed up the uh, the build section of, of the gameplay I actually tried to speed up that footage but every single time I tried to oh <coughs> whoa that was weird um, every time I tried to speed it up and then put the music with it Sony Vegas would crash instantly every single time I mean I must have tried this like five or six times and it crashed every single time so I left it um, at normal speed uh, you know it's, it's you know it's a little bit long 
But, I mean, if you guys want to skip through it, that's fine. But I did want to use a really cool song. And I found that song. I talked to the person that actually made it. And he was like, yeah, use the song. So, I was really excited to use that song. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys later.